Hi friends, I just received the brand new Falcon 3 plug-in. This is it. It's running on a Mac Studio M2. And uh, what I'm most interested in is this feature called MIDI Out. And uh, I just received it and tried to get it running. And now I'm going to show you how it's uh, running. And I'm steering from the Falcons uh, different scripts like arpeggiators and internal sequences uh, running within Falcon and also a percussion factory I've got running in there. And the whole thing, uh, there's different Falcons running within Cubase, are steering the Moog 1. So this is where the so one sound comes from and one Falcon is steering that one via X script. And the Prophet 10 is over here and it's got Bluetooth MIDI. I want to take it to the max, you know, and this one has got this sound and this one's got this sound. I can tweak these sounds right at the instruments, but it's steered via Cubase. So how do I do it? Uh, I put in an instrument, uh, Falcon, and uh, uh, this Falcon uh, uh, should run in the events here, up in the, in the events. I put in an arpeggiator like some of these here, there's many of those. It's just an example of uh, many, and this is the advantage of the whole thing. Uh, and uh, then you don't have to forget uh, that the, that it's got a MIDI out. It's here. And the MIDI out should be added below this arpeggiator in the events. And the same with the other Falcon. I put in, in this case, a sequencing. It's called Step Arpeggiator. It's quite a complex thing. And it's also has, has got different... Uh, arpeggiator presets and uh, and the same uh, here I have to add a MIDI out there. So uh, I put in this instrument here and uh, say uh, complete uh, that uh, this uh, I steer it from from the uh, native instruments uh, complete keyboard here and uh, this keyboard is the MIDI input for this Falcon. Now it gets complicated yes but that's how it is. And uh, so it's running the Falcon. It's got uh, a MIDI channel one. Uh, I gave uh, this first Falcon, I gave the MIDI channel one. I can do it over here somewhere. Yes, there can give in the MIDI channels, but it's not really that important. So what I want to say, uh, Native Instruments keyboard is the master keyboard steering via the Falcon the Moog 1 and the Prophet 2, and it's running all through Cubase and with the Falcon. So here's the Falcon Prophet, and then I added a, a MIDI channel here, and this MIDI channel, as you can see, uh, is steering Akai MPC Bluetooth. I uh, added this Bluetooth thing, and behind that is the uh, Prophet. So uh, uh, if I activate it and I play uh, something here, it sounds like this. Very simple example. So to add it, Falcon is uh, uh, running MIDI out and it contains uh, this script arpeggiator and it's steering a MIDI track running within Cubase and this MIDI track out is going to the Prophet. <laughs> So that's easy, yes? And and once you do that, uh, you of course uh, can change within this arpeggiator, you can change uh, what it's uh, doing here. Uh, I don't know, bang it, I, I don't know. And the best thing, it's running of the, within the tempo of uh, uh, Nuendo or Cubase or your DAW or Logic or whatever, DAW, Reaper, whatever you use, Ableton. So this is uh, in short how it's going. And just to show you the other thing, uh, did the same here. And this is a different arpeggiator. And uh, now I steer the, via a separate Falcon, I steer the Moog. And this is this thing here and it's... <laughs> Also here I can go into different presets and say uh, do some chord thing and uh, and now you understand that it's much more complex than just using the uh, internal arpeggiator of Nuendo or Cubase. You can do much more with it and on the fly you can change everything. So after that after I've, uh, I went here uh, again into the tracks and I recorded just like you record 
normally uh, with Nuendo or Cubase and there's the MIDI data in and uh, this MIDI data were generated by the Falcon and within the Falcon of the arpeggiator and this is the, the profit and, and the best thing I can go in here and and uh, also control the um, volume of the profit via this X touch here or SSL or whatever you have. So this is one track. Uh, then then comes the second track, uh, which is running the Moog, and b both I like this. And also, the Moog can be. I cycled it and, and then I can go while it's running. And change uh, the sounds, also go here. You see, everything is running and then we have within the Falcon a brand new thing it's called Percussion Factory uh, and I'll show you I will add that one too uh, if I go into that track uh, I can just do like this here uh, I activate it just a second and add this in here it's also in, in sync and can single instruments or some more and all in all you can do something like this I hope it's not too loud now here let's have a look so everything is running now. Or I choose a different rhythm here, like this one. to the synths and change the sounds to something else and whatever so uh, you see it's a little bit complicated not people get it managed uh, in, in first place but uh, um, I find it very useful and it's much better than any arpeggiator I can use uh, even the internal uh, of the Moog one here because uh, I can tweak while it's running I can change everything and the whole thing uh, also is working the other way around uh, um, so that I can take the Moog 1 as an input to this here and uh, combine the Moog 1, which is also synced with this internal arpeggiator uh, to Nuendo and play uh, uh, the whole thing within Nuendo and add the Moog 1 from external to that. So MIDI out from the Moog 1 playing the script processor of Falcon and mixing both up. And while this is running, I can change uh, all the plugins, uh, all the presets within this. So ha, you see, this was improvised here. I, I didn't know how to manage to, to tell you if it's good or how it's running. But uh, I think it's, it's, it's really, really nice and really fun to do this. There's much more you can do and use many of these different scripts here. There's uh, definitely, I don't know, if 50 or 100, uh, and each uh, script can be manipulated. So it's really worth uh, to think about that and uh, mix the idea of Falcons out with your hardware. Uh, I can attach everything here. Um, in the end, uh, the sky is the limit and uh, you must uh, just do that and uh, then you get very nice, interesting ideas. Uh, I'm a keyboarder. Uh, some things I would not uh, play or I could not play and this is the advantage of working like this. So, okay, thank you. See you next time. Chris. <laughs>